This is a Blix. Chloe Lauer shows me her electric bike in a downtown park. She points out the video screen that displays her battery charge. So this is like a full battery. You can see how fast you're going. And then this is the pedal assist. And the tools that control the bike's motor. And you can put it up, you know, using the up arrow or down. Electric bikes can be pedaled like a regular bike. They can also run just on their motor or help you pedal, giving your leg power a strong motorized boost. Some cyclists have called electric bikes a game changer. Lauer, who is director of the San Diego County Bike Coalition, does not disagree. We love e-bikes because it's getting more cyclists on the road and because we want to expand cycling as a mainstream thing. The more people, the more mainstream it is. The goal of getting people out of their cars and on a bike is a step toward addressing the threat of global warming. Transportation accounts for half of San Diego's greenhouse gas emissions, but the move to electrify bikes and scooters has raised concerns among people in emergency medicine. Dr. Vishal Bansal is chief of trauma at Scripps Mercy Hospital, and he's seen a lot of accidents linked to motorized scooters, which are available on the street for rent. You can pick one up anytime and start driving it. So if you're intoxicated, if you have really no good experience on a scooter, no one is wearing a helmet. At least I haven't seen that when I'm seeing these people in town. UC San Diego did a study on just over 100 hospital admissions related to motorized scooters in 2017 and 2018. They found a dramatic monthly increase in admissions during that time period with a wide variety of injuries, something Bansell can vouch for. We do see a fair amount of head injuries. Head injuries can be mild, moderate, or severe. The majority luckily are on the mild or moderate side, but we have had some severe head injuries and death from head injury from these vehicles. Wrist and rib fractures are also common. And what about e-bikes? Bansell says he sees a lot of kids riding them unsafely and he thinks their speed is not properly regulated. To me, this subject is personal. Years ago, I was riding my bike to work in San Diego when I was hit by a car. I suffered traumatic brain injury and I did end up in the Scripps Mercy Trauma Ward. It took me three months before I was well enough to go back to work. So. I know what it's like, how dangerous it can be to ride an unprotected vehicle on a road full of cars. You know, when you do have that interplay where you have bicyclists, um, you know, right next to cars, you're just, you're essentially putting a tank next to, you know, this itty bitty, you know, sticks, <laughs> itty bitty sticks and someone in their itty bitty helmet. So it's, it's kind of a formidable um, task to go biking on our regular streets. But Elizabeth Barrera Rivest is also an emergency room physician who sees the worst results of that mismatched vehicular traffic, but she's also a member of the Health Advisory Committee of San Diego's Climate Action Campaign. You want to talk about health risks, she says those that come from climate change are severe and numerous, including asthma, heat stroke, and premature birth. The UCSD study on e-scooters describes the vehicles as inherently dangerous. Barrera Rivest argues their level of safety depends on the user. It's the same as anything else. You have to you have to take control of your own personal safety. And if they're treated as a toy, then certainly they're not a safe uh, they're not a safe modality. At San Diego State, racks of e-scooters are available for rent, and you see them zipping past pedestrians on sidewalks and bike paths. Cesar Jimenez bought his own scooter, which he drives to school okay. after he parks his car off campus. I asked if he feels unsafe on the roads. No, I don't, to be honest. No, not really. I never I feel like I'm safe. There's certain areas of uh, San Diego that definitely, I think it would be nice to have uh, like uh, those uh, spaces for bikes or scooters. That there's some places I think, I think we can get better on it. I find the scooters and you know, they're just perfect. And I just hop on the scooter and sometimes it just helps me out when I'm in a dilemma and when I'm in the problem. Some students said they don't feel safe on a road with a scooter, but with new electric cars going for more than $60,000 a pop, Barrera Rivest says finding an affordable, global, friendly way to travel may depend on those kinds of vehicles. I think that we face a choice where we either have to make some sacrifices to be more environmentally friendly or you know we face the greatest existential threat to our to humans thomas fudge kpbs news